Hello, my name is Andre. I'm a member of the operations team here at CRST, and today we'd like to discuss the importance of macros, using them, and how it affects you as a driver. As you already know, a macro is a standardized message sent via Qualcomm to dispatch. Your driver manager directly receives these messages and processes them in a timely fashion to ensure that we have all information regarding your fuel level, load, trailer, and other information updated correctly. And how does this impact you? It impacts your pay. The reason it impacts your pay will be explained in the next few slides, but what I'd first like to do is direct your attention to the picture on the bottom right hand of your screen. This is what it looks like when we actually receive a message or Qualcomm macro from your truck. On that first column there where there's a two, a one, a one, and a zero, those indicate the number of messages each truck has sent in. So as you can see on there, truck 103989 has actually sent us two Qualcomm messages, and they have been unread, which is why they show that number there. Once those have been read and confirmed by a driver manager, they disappear. You will also see the status bar. What that status bar shows is whether or not a truck is in progress under a load or if they have, are currently in a delivered status, meaning that they are not in progress to go pick up a load or under a current load. Our planning department uses this to get your next load, so it's very pertinent that we have you shown in a in progress or delivered status depending on what your next need is. Using your Qualcomm to send in your macros is incredibly important for a number of different reasons. It ensures that you get paid correctly, helps reduce trailer chases because we know everybody loves those, provide information to our customers regarding their load, help load planning, know when you're needing a next load, and help to minimize your downtime in between loads. There are no empty trailers available at Jim's destination. Jim calls his driver manager to tell him that no empty trailers are available. The driver manager then sends him a location to find an empty trailer, only for Jim to arrive to that location and find that that trailer nor any other empty is available there. Why do you think that is? The reason why is because the truck that picked up the empty from that location where Jim was supposed to did not send in a hooked empty macro. Macros need to be sent into us real time as the action occurs. Failure to send the macro resulted in Jim having to head to the two more places just to find an empty trailer. This burned up his hours of service, made him late for pickup, and reduced the number of miles he was able to drive, thus reducing his pay. In scenario number two, Sarah departed from her shipper, but she didn't send us a depart shipper macro to let us know that she has the load. Sarah arrived to her destination across the states and still did not have a new load assigned, so she had to sit for hours before getting a new load. Why was this? If dispatch is unaware that you have a load, then it is difficult to assign your next one. Because Sarah did not communicate that she had the load, it resulted in lost pay and downtime. If Sarah had sent in a depart shipper when she had left the shipper in real time, planning would know that she currently had the load and would be able to approximate when she will get to her final destination and would be able to get her next load assigned early so she knows what is next and to reduce her downtime. Over these next several slides, I'm just going to touch on some highlights on a few very important macros. Again, every macro is important, but these are going to be the ones that impact your pay, and I want to draw your attention to how they impact it. For these hooked and dropped empty macros, it's pertinent that you send those in so we can get our computer work updated to show you getting those empty miles or adding trailer shuttle pay if it's a trailer shuttle for you. On the arrived at shipper, in depart shipper macro, it's pertinent that you get those to us in a timely manner with accurate times so we can then go to our customer and get you detention pay if it is needed for that load. The arrive and depart stop off macro are also important to show exactly where you are with your current load. If you have multiple pickups and deliveries, this helps us provide planning and accurate, accurate information as to where you are so we can get your next load planned. The arrived at final and empty at final macro are similar to the arrived at shipper and depart shipper macro in that accurate times are needed on that. In case you are in need of detention pay, we can show those accurate times to our customer and push to get that detention pay for you. The relayed load macro is also similar to the empty at final and arrived at final macro. This helps us know when you're arriving at a relay point and have dropped a trailer so we can get you moving to your next load if you do not already have one assigned. 
On this slide, I'm going to discuss the driver shutdown macro. This impacts you directly in terms of getting to your final. Anytime you're stopping, of course, the load is going to be delayed slightly. We want to communicate those delays to our customer. For example, if a load is a live unload and you arrive to the final only to find out that your delivery was two days ago because you had a shutdown due to weather, you now have to sit there and wait until they can either work you in or have dispatch reschedule the appointment. If you had communicated that driver shutdown to us in advance, we can work with our customer to get that appointment rescheduled so when you arrive, you can unload and head directly to your next load. Another macro that is very important for you to use would be our macro 21. This is used when you are under a load to update your fuel level to recalculate your fuel stops and fuel route. This will help prevent delays by allowing you to fill completely rather than stopping at an off-network fuel station, reaching out to your driver manager to have them turn on your fuel card, and then having to stop another 100 miles or so to refuel completely, as we cannot turn on your card for a full stop, for a full fill. The last two macros that I'm going to cover today, for time's sake, will be our paycheck issue macro. Paychecks post every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Central. Please check the driver portal at driver.crst.com to see your paycheck. As soon as you notice an issue, please send in a macro 25 to your driver manager so they can get your pay corrected as quickly as possible. The other macro that I would like to bring to your attention is a macro 44. This macro is great if you forget to go to sleeper during your 10 hour break or whatever else, any other issues that you may have made on your logs. This is great to communicate with e-logs about whatever, any corrections that are needed to your logs or any questions regarding them. Again, my name is Andre and I'd like to thank you for attending this brief training regarding the importance of macros, how to use them and when to use them and why it is so important for you, the driver to use them and how it impacts you. If you have any questions regarding macro use, please reach out to your driver manager and they would be more than happy to assist you with those.